Hello, everyone. Welcome to Getting There with Pat Ash. Well, today I was going to fire up my Mac 1010, but I'm having issues with it. I'm going to have to get in touch with Dan and Andrew, see if they have some parts for it or some guidance on it. Two very good men on another channel, on other channels. Dan is Kane's Custom Garage, and Andrew is Andrew Butler. But so today, instead of doing a Mac versus a Bullen, I think we're gonna do a Bullen Pro 5020 versus My son said that he had dressed one of them, I don't know which one, but they were both very dull. Now, all of this wood that we're chopping up and moving around and I'm fumbling and bumbling around on everything here is because I have everything under my feet instead of a clear workspace, which never a good thing. But all in all, both saws run and run good. Uh, I would rather have used my Mac 1010, but I'm having issues with it because it is missing a few parts and I have to try to source those parts or if some other kind viewer has them and would be uh, greatly appreciated if they were sent out to me but needless to say between the firewood the two saws the $200 truck and my son and I were able to get through the through the uh, pile here and in the next video, you'll see that my son and I went out with our uh, PVs and uh, log jacks. We brought out a couple more sticks of wood from the uh, side of the road. All right, These ones I'm cutting up here were brought in in the back of the truck. And remember, that's only a, uh, that's a six and a half foot bed. And these logs are about 10 to 12 feet long. So, you go ahead and figure out how far I was moving them. It wasn't that far, nor was I driving the truck that hard. I hope you all enjoy the content. Please like, subscribe, ring that notify, notification bell. And if you think of anybody else that might like the content here, please send them on over. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you and have a great day.